Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I've got another shortwave listening tip. Now, these are common things that I've been telling you about, and they're kind of geared towards people that are new to shortwave listening, because I've gotten a lot of questions, you know, how can I improve my shortwave listening hobby? Or people that have been away from shortwave for a long time and kind of forgetting, forgotten some of the things that you should do to improve your shortwave listening experience. So here we go with another tip. This is tip number five. Find a good list of shortwave stations. Now what I mean by that is on the internet you can find a lot of information about shortwave stations, when they're on, what the programs are about, um, and they're updated quite often, some as many as instantaneously, some weekly, some daily. And here are a few that I use. Short-wave.info, that's one of them. I use that a lot. Have you seen it in my shows when I'm doing scanning of the shortwave band and I can't remember what a frequency is and what the station could be? I use that to look it up very quickly. Another one is w4uvh.net slash hitlist.htm. Now, I'm going to show you these in a minute. The last one, and there are many more, and if you got one that I haven't mentioned and you'd like everybody to know about it, please put it in a comment. The next one is worldofradio.com. So let me show you those right now. Should have them open. Right there, there's short-wave.info. I've actually worked with the author of this website to improve it. Boy, I gotta oil my chair, it's very squeaky. Um, and you can do a lot of things on this. And you can find by certain stations, I always choose any. And language, you can pick a language. Now you can't pick any station in any language. It, that's just, that's a whole database. So can't do that. And then it automatically sets it to the present time by clicking this little arrow right here. Or you can put a time in. And then you select go. And I'll do that. And then it finds all the stations that are being broadcast in English right now. And here's the listing. Nice map. Look at all the stations. Now, I've been getting comments from time to time that there's nothing on shortwave. That's not true at all. Look at all these stations all over the world. And you can come down, and here's the list with information. This, and you can see this little down arrow. That means you can sort by that parameter. This one's frequency. You can um, sort by start. This is actually a diamond here, our language or remarks. Now, if you, remarks shows you the country flag, and this is an indication of the strength to your location. Now, that's one thing you, well, you do when you first go here, you put in your location. Right there is the dot where my location is. So you put that in. And then you can also, uh, find stations broadcasting on a fixed frequency or a range of frequency. So if you tuned your radio and it's at 6995 and you're like, I wonder what station that is. You can put the 6995 in. Let me just try it. I don't know if that's a, a good number right now. And I got to click on it. There we go. Uh, 6995. I don't know if this is a good one. And you can either tell it to search for a range, 6995 plus or minus 5 kilohertz, or that exact frequency. I am going to make it a range just in case I don't have a good frequency. And then down here, there's no results. I, I was afraid that wouldn't be a good result. Um, but anyway, you get the idea. Or you can now, and this is something he added, uh, oh, I think about six months ago, 
is you can select a band, which is I like to use too, because I like to listen to the 31 meter band. So you select that and you select now. And it gives you, all, look at all the stations that are broadcasting on just the 31 meter band. And that, this is just part of it. It goes down further. So I, I really like this. And then you can click on, I think it's, uh, you haven't used it in a few weeks, so I forgot. I think you click on the flag and it shows you a world map zoomed in. So that's where that station is. And you can, of course, use this to zoom out. So see, it's up in Maine. What was, oh, that's Monticello. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, the next one I mentioned was this one, the World of Radio Station Hit List. This is the W4UVH.net slash hitlist.htm. And this is a listing in a different format of stations that are on shortwave and information about each of the stations. So let's let's just go pick one here. Here's uh, a station in Australia. It's called Reach Beyond. Here's the frequencies. And if you click on this, this will give you the frequencies and some program information. And let me go up here. So there's a station homepage. That's this. Frequencies. Programs. Live streams. That's streams on the internet. On demand and links to selected program pages. So again, a great amount of information available to you. So this is by country. That's how this is listed. So if we go up here, go to my favorite, which is China. There's China. There's two lists. It's actually three listings for China. China Radio International. That's what I listen to. And you can click on these here and get more information about that particular station, China Radio. And then the last one I want to show you is Glenn Hauser's World of Radio, which he has a whole bunch of information. And for instance, to just give you an example, one that I use, and I probably should have put it, um, oh, I did, yeah, here, is the Alan Rose Shortwave Station His List. That's what I just showed you. So if we go back, he's got other ones. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of one that I use. This, this is just a wealth of information. Here's the e, EIBI Comprehensive Shortwave Schedules by Frequency. And then there's a couple of variations of that. I just It just goes on and on and on and on. So this is a great website for overall information, not just listings. So if we can get back to my PowerPoint presentation, and we'll go to my last slide, and the conclusion is there is plenty of information about shortwave radio stations on the Internet. Use it. That's going to help you find stations, find out when you do find a station, find out what it is, also find out when... Uh, a particular station is going to be on what, on the air. So I hope this helps. If you have some uh, more shortwave listing tips, uh, please leave them in a comment to share with everybody. And have a great day. Bye-bye.